Okay, before you connect your custom domain, let's see how things look in the sites area. These are landing pages. Let's click this title of the landing page. After you do that, you'll get an overview with the five tabs over here and with the landing page URL and favicon settings here. So you can just cut, copy it here and you can edit it here. Now, this is the landing page URL we provide for all of our MailerLite users. The cool thing about this is you don't need your own domain. You can just use this and just put something here of your own. Um, the, the bad thing about it is like if someone uses, um, let's say, Christmas for their domain name, well, only one client, one MailerLite client can do that. And if you try to click Save and Continue, well, it's going to say that this page URL is already in use. And we do have another domain we provide, which is called surveypage.com. Now, you might be lucky this time, and let's see if someone has that domain. Save and continue. And there we go, it worked. So no one used this. But now the next person who will want to use surveypages.com and Christmas is not going to be that lucky. But I, I was, right? Now, what you could do is, of course, this, is, this video is all about that, is create your own domain here and use your own domain. And let's do that. Let's go to the top right, drop down menu, click domains. And here we go. Let's click add domain. And let's go with pages.marson.im. Click save. There we go. And let's add one more. Let's go with marson.im and click Save. All right. And now we can manage these DNSs. So let's start with this one, Manage DNS. I want to re redirect only the subdomain. And as you noticed, I actually created a subdomain here because the naked domain is called marson.im, which I added here. But this is a subdomain because I added pages.marson.im. Or I could have added landing pages or whatever before that uh, marson.im. Now, the reason for this is if you have a blog that is already set up with the domain, in this, in my case, it's marson.im. If I have a blog set up there, well, I don't want to add this domain. I don't want to connect it with MailerLite because things might get messed up if I start creating landing pages here with the same address that I have already created in my WordPress blog or whatever I'm using. So that's, in this case, I'm just creating another, uh, a subdomain called pages.marson.im. And that's what we have here. I want to redirect only the subdomain. Perfect when you already have a website and want to connect a subdomain of your website. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm just going to copy this here. And I'm using name.com for my domains. This might look different for, for you, but it's very similar. What you need to do is find your domain setting for the specific domain. In this case, I just need to click the name of the domain. I blurred out my address because you don't need that. You don't need to change the name servers. You need to find something that is called Manage DNS Records, or sometimes it's the DNS zone. Now, if in most cases, the place where you registered your domain name, you're going to be able to do that. In some cases, you have these settings in your hosting plan. So sometimes the registers that registrars where you register your domain name, they don't allow you to uh, play with these settings here. And you first need to buy a server for them from them. And then only on that server are you going to be able to change these DNS records. In my case, I'm lucky I can do it here. Click manage DNS records. And I have a lot of settings. What I wanted to do is let's go back for a moment. C name record for pages. So I'll just copy this, right? Go back here. C name record. Okay, I don't paste the whole thing. I don't paste this whole thing because I already have .marson.im. So I just need to post pages. And the answer, let me go back again here. Click copy, paste it here. There we go. Add record. And we're ready to go. Let's go back, check the NS records. And this is done correctly, but in this case, I'll have to wait 24 hours for the setting to work. But that's fine. I just need to, to, to do that. I'll cancel that for now. And once this is ready, I can also enable SSL. And I highly recommend you to do this. If you want to read up on it, just, just click this little question mark button or use Google. 
Now, what if I want to just use my naked domain as, as they're they called sometimes? Well, you go Manage DNS, and I click, I want to redirect the root domain with the subdomains. And this is a little bit more tricky. You need to add record A and record A for the domain itself. Now, this might look like it's the same thing, but it's not. This has a little star be be before it, and then it has a dot. So let's go back to my panel. I'm going to copy one of these here. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to look for the A records. And they are different. You see? They have 244. And what I need to do is edit them. I'm using these in another MailerLite account. So there's that's not a problem. And I'm just going to change them here. Update. And there we go. So we have the one with the little star and the one with nothing. Again, when I edit this, I have nothing here. And I when I edit this, I have the little star. It basically means that anything before that will go straight to this domain. If you have a www, if someone writes www.marson.im, it's still going to go to that main domain. OK, and again, you use only this, this method only if you're not using that domain on any blog or website. You already have website uh, set up. And you want to use the landing page for your mini website instead, the MailerLite landing page, that is. OK, let's go back here, check DNS records. Okay, so one was already approved, and now for the other one, you just need to wait a little longer for that to happen. But you don't have to wait for this in order to start working. In this case, I can already enable the SSL. Let's do that. Activate it. There we go. Now it's enabled. So don't worry if that doesn't work the first time around, especially because you know sometimes you have to wait 24 hours for it. This time we were very lucky with this page here. This was enabled. Um, you know, if you have a problem, try refreshing and waiting for a while and refreshing again. Um, but normally, like I said, this is going to take longer. Let's check this one. Okay, I added those records. So let's check DNS records. So for these for these ones, we're going to have to wait a little longer. I'm, I'm just going to cancel here for now and just I'll come back a little later. Okay, but let's go to sites now. Secret landing page, the same one. Remember, we had five, one, two, three, four, five, and now we have a new one. We can edit this one here by using the same button, or we can go to the domain settings right over here. And let's go to edit. This was the one, remember Christmas. And now we have two more marson.im slash Christmas and pages.marson.im. Now, this one is not going to work because it's not active yet, right? But this one should work. There we go. And let's change it up a little. Let's just put page so it's a little easier. Now, we just click Save and Continue. OK, now I'm going to turn off full screen so I can see my tabs here. I'm going to create one more. And I'm going to go marson.im dot pages page and that is the demo landing page I just created and you can see the address is my address with pages of course what I could have done also is just gone back here and because I used the naked one I could just do this take out pages click save and continue there we go. I'll just go back to that site, turn off full screen so I can see Marson. There we go. Same thing. It's working. Everything is working. So this is pretty cool because now with the landing page feature, you actually have a one page website. I hope you've really enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.